If you want to learn how to add text to an object inside of Bamboo Studio, stick around because that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do is add in my shapes. So I'm going to use a simple right click, add primitive, and I'm going to add in three shapes. The first shape is going to be a cube, and I'm going to set this and rescale this to 200%. And then I'm going to right click, add in a cylinder. And again, we're going to rescale this to 200%. And the final thing that I want to add in is going to be a disc. So again, right click, come down to disc. And if you notice, this is kind of all over the place. So I need to auto arrange this so we can see them all. And I'm gonna grab the disc and resize this because I'm gonna have to resize this quite a bit. So let's try 500%. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, one more auto range, and we have got them all separated. Now I'm actually gonna pull them apart so we can see what we're doing here. So when it comes to adding text, it's really simple. I am gonna switch over so I can see the objects individually and not just one big global group. So to add text, I'm gonna come up here to the text, and this is gonna feel like most text ed editors you've ever used, where I can come down, select a font, I'm just gonna go with Arial Black because it's a nice bold font. Uh, the text that I'm going to use is going to be just the name of the channel. And I'm going to need to kind of move my mouse around to place it somewhere. And if you notice that it wants to wrap around. So right now it's a little bit too big. So we're going to come down here and set it maybe at 12. And that should be able to stick on there. And the thickness, I can bring this off as much as I want. If I want it to be 5 millimeters, it's going to come off, as you'll see. Um, I can increase how far apart my letters are. And I can also rotate them if I wanted to rotate them with an angle. So that is the easiest way to add any sort of text. If I were to come in and slice plate and zoom in, get this out of the way, you would see those letters are now attached to that cube. So that's one way to do it. The next way, we're gonna jump over to this cylinder and I'm gonna select the cylinder. We're gonna add text. Again, we're gonna add in the same BA.3D. And you'll see here that I can put it on top like we did, or if I have surface enabled, we can rotate it down to the sides. If surface is not enabled, it's gonna look something like this, where it just sticks off the side. So make sure surface is selected. By default, it's gonna do that. Everything else is 100% the same. We can move it around a little bit, but kind of once you get that placed in, it's there. So be careful before you place it, unless you want to just Command Z and redo that. You do have the option for to italicize it or to make it less bold. That's totally up to you. Like I said, same as most text editors. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you is actually something I use all the time. And this is embedding text into an object. So we're gonna go and select our disk and I want to add the same text. So I'm gonna make some sort of cutout here. So come down, choose Arial Black, and then choose, put in the logo. And you'll see right there, it's a little bit too big. Make this 12 again, like we did on the cube. And I'm gonna actually zoom out a little bit so we can see what this looks like. Okay, so we've got that placed. And right now, there's not a whole lot I can do, but because I'm in this object side, I can actually right click and we can edit the text once you've set it. And I'm gonna set this embed length. It looks like this is about uh, maybe one or two millimeter disc. I can't remember what the actual default is on this. So I'm gonna set this to two. Um, and then this thickness, I can set this to zero. So right now it looks like it's just sitting on top. And we will say that we're done, click off of it. If I were to slice this plate, you'll notice that clicking down through the layers, let's get down to the disc here, that the text is in the 3D print. It would be noticeable if I printed this, but it would not be actually embedded into the disc. So if I wanna do that, I need to come over to where it says text shape and right click. And once I right click, I'm gonna come and say that I wanna change the type and I want to not make it a part, but make it a negative part and say, okay. 
And now, if we've done everything right, when we slice the plate, it should completely cut that right out of that disc. So as you can see here, we now have that cleanly removed from the disc. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We continue to make these as we get requests or anytime I am feel like I, I'm answering the same questions, I'm going to keep doing these types of videos. Thanks for sticking around to the end. We will see you next time.